that is the apex. Hey there, motorcyclist, road race guy here on a Easter Sunday afternoon. Just going to talk to you a little bit about the new Cushatani GPV race gloves. Just had these uh, come in recently, got a chance to test these out over the last couple of weeks since we've been on quarantine. Hadn't got to ride with them as much as I would like, uh, but I have gotten out three or four times with them and put them through, put them through the paces. So let's talk about that a little bit today. Things that I like about these Kushitani gloves to start off with, they've got the kangaroo hide palm, which is absolutely exceptional. If you've not had the chance to test out a pair of gloves with a kangaroo hide palm, you need to do it. The feel is incredible. They're very soft. Uh, it's almost like riding with no gloves on at all. They have what Kushitani is calling the pile up structure system for the knuckle guards, which is a little bit different than what you might find in a traditional Alpine Stars or Dionysi type glove. They've got multiple layers of padding on top of the knuckles to protect you in case of a crash. And so it's a little bit, um, a little bit different of a system than most other people use. Seems really protective. I haven't put it through its paces yet in a crash, and I hope I don't have to anytime soon. But it does feel and look really, really sturdy and very safe. Other really good things about these outside stitches, I'll get a picture of this uh, and put on the video up close. You can see that these stitches in the fingers are exaggerated outside, but man, they're really, really comfortable when you're on the bike going down the road. Like I said earlier, it feels like you're wearing nothing at all. I had to take a look a couple of times at my hands to make sure I had gloves on, period, when I was out cruising around with these things on. Other things that I like about the Kushitani GPV is the super quick break-in time. I'm talking like 10, 15 minutes of wearing these and I felt like they were almost fully broken in. That was really, really good. Other things that are really good, sizing on these. You've got more sizes with Kushitani than you do with normal distributors like Revit or Dianese. I couldn't quite fit in a large in an L, so I had to bump up to the LL, the luxurious large. Now, I don't know what it's really supposed to mean, but in between large and extra larges, the LL fit me perfect. Really good options to fine tune the fit of those gloves. You know how important it is not to have things bunch up on you. So I really like those aspects. Things I'm not crazy about with the Kushitani GPV is really one of the big things is the colors. There's very limited colors. I don't like a black glove. It's hotter in the summertime and it just kind of looks a little hokey. They don't have some of the brighter colors to go with some of the new school leather. So I wish they could improve a little bit with that. And I think the ventilation could be improved a little bit. Ventilation is not bad on these gloves, but it could be improved. That's going to be one of my drawbacks to this glove is it could have a little more perforation and it could breathe a little bit better. I've not ridden with these in the summertime yet, but I don't expect that they're going to be a cool glove when it gets hot out, especially Button Willow, Willow Springs in the summertime. But they do have some venting on here. You'll see that in my still pictures I put up, but I think they could have a little bit more. I'm concerned with the kangaroo hide and how it's going to hold up integrity wise once they do get wet and saturated in sweat several times. The distributor told me to make sure to treat them after I get them wet each time with a conditioner, Lexol or Mink Oil or something like that and they should be good. So that's pretty much it with the Kushitani race gloves that is uh, exceptional to them. Everything else is pretty much run of the mill. You got some padding around the, the wrist bone. You've got some carbon fiber on the palm and then a little grip pad on the palm and then the textured uh, little section there on the palm as well and for your throttle grip between the thumb and the forefinger. A little bit of hard plastic on your three biggest fingers and hard plastic on the knuckle. 
their enclosure, the way these things close up here, a little bit different with the first strap that holds the wrist on, actually uses the same Velcro pad as the main wrist Velcro. So that's a little bit different, but it's cool. It seems to work all right. Really good gloves, super high quality, about 200 bucks on the market. I had to pay a little bit more for mine. I don't like that. But they are a good quality price, a uh, good quality glove for a good price. Um, kangaroo hide's hard to get in California. If you know a good distributor, they get these for you. You do what you can, but it's not legal here. So you might have to go to Nevada and get you a pair if you need them, if you're here in LA. Check these out, Kushitani GP5 Race Gloves, 2020 model. Check it out, Road Race Guy. Have a great day, folks. Got the Kushitani zone today, checking these bad boys out on the road. Here we go. Feels so good, that kangaroo hide is like nothing at all.